What's up guys and welcome to another Geo Duel Links video. So we finally have a new character from the R5 universe being introduced and that was Dennis McField. Let's check out what are the event processes as well as how it goes. So as per usual when it comes to the new legendary duelists, they come in per episode kind of basis. Episode 1 to 3 should be available to you on the first day of, on -off of release. Episode 4 will be, will be the t day where you get to unlock the character and proceed for the um, character unlock missions. And finally, episode 5 is a conclusion to the entire event as well as the story of the following event. First up, let's check out Dennis McField. Available after the 2nd of May on, at 1pm, okay 2 days from now since tomorrow is May 1st aka Labor's Day so I hope you guys manage to rest up as well during those time. And his ace card itself is Performage Trapeze Magician. So notice that the art style and the name kind of resemble Performer Pals. But please, please keep in mind that this is Performage if you're unfamiliar with the art type. Too low for Spellcaster Monster, you never take damage if the amount is less than or equal to this card's attack. So essentially, as long as you keep this card's attack in a high amount, you will never take damage. Never take damage, she has a pretty good deal overall. Once per turn during either player's main phase, detach a material, target a phase up attack position monster the turn player controls. Make a second attack during each battle phase to this turn, also destroy it after it does so. If this card is destroyed by battle and sent to graveyard, uh, or is sent to graveyard by a card effect, spell someone perform mage monster from the deck. Okay, the effect itself. Allows you to, allows you to detach materials, let your other monsters do multiple attacks with the only cost of it being destroyed at the end of the battle phase. While the second part is that a floating effect with this card will be destroyed or removed from the field, you get to spiral summon a performage monster from the deck. Although keep note it requires to be sent to the graveyard by the way. If this card is banished then the floating effect does not go off so you better keep in mind about that. And next up. Event cards, so let's see. Performance Hat Tricker. Two or more monsters on the are on the field, special summon this card from hand. During either player's turn a card or effect is activated that will inflict damage to you. Place a performance counter on this card. And that effect damage becomes zero, so maximum of three. When the third performance counter is placed on this card, its attack becomes 2300. So essentially if your opponent plays a burn deck, then you have this card on the field. Then basically, you can keep spamming counters until it max up to 3, then 3300 level 4 monster on the field just like that. Performage Flame Eater During either player's turn, when the monster or card effect is activated that will inflict damage to you, you can activate the effect. You can't spell summon monsters for the rest of the turn except performage monsters. Also spell summon this card from your hand. If you do make that effect damage to 0, summon this way, banish it when it leaves the field. This card is no more special summon. Each player takes 250 burn damage on the dot. So from the get go, you already kind of get the gist of how the main deck monsters work for performage. Effect damage, something happens. You do, you you get effect damage, then something then you can trigger this effect, etc. etc. And the boss monster of Trapeze Magician, once the life once this monster's attack points are up to the high high values, you don't take damage at all for the entirety of the turn as long as this card is on the field. Pretty good deal overall, and not to mention if, if I remember correctly, there is also an upcoming uh, mini box coming on the 1st of May tomorrow. So what I guess I could um, say most probably it could be the performage cards that's featuring Dennis and his performage monsters, but we'll just have to see until then. So right now since this is going to be the first duel against this guy, so let's go ahead with um, our Shingo, our Silver Saltari. Alright. 
So let's go. Yo, Sanchu. Do it, maybe you will kill, but let's just do it anyway. Since we want, I want, kind, I kind of want to see. Uh, actually, level 10, you won't actually summon anything of note. So either way, it's fine. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this event also has a deal with the reward system. So anytime you battle against um against uh, Dennis, you essentially will accumulate points, which is actually quite good. Which is actually advantageous for you. All right, let's activate your training grounds. Let's uh pendulum set. Pendulum set. Normal summon just for the sake of it, just increase our counters. I could pendulum summon that that way it'll stay on the field. But what's the fun in that? I might as well just take some damage during this turn anyways. I dropped your turn. Very good. Let's see what does Lady Luck have for me. Alright. Perfect. I activate my spell card. Let's add Die Buck into our hand. No, that's the thought. Sorry. Normal summon your Senju Karma 2. Activate uh, your Senju Shinshu R's effect. And now we Pendulum Summon into our our Hitot. My monsters can swing into action too. Compose. The Tots effect activate. Bounce you back into hand. Attack boost on the dot, and now we win. First hit, second hit, and voila. Easy as that. Hey, you're quite the star yourself. While I shine like a star. Anyways, let's click onto the middle part of the screen right there. As you can see, and as I mentioned before, episode 1, episode 2, and episode 3 will be un unlocked on their own individual dates. So this one will be on the, th on the 2nd of May. First and second will be available. Third episode will be on 2nd of May, the day we unlock uh, the, the event character. 4th and 6th of May for the corresponding final two episodes. Kill the reward system scrolling down, you can basically see all the cards that you can obtain for this entire kill the reward system overall. But most importantly, I think it'll be the part on testing your testing out how does this deck function. So for first thing we know that um, effect damage will most definitely not work on his performance deck because they have their effects to counter it all. So the best bet that you can do is basically use decks that have overpower that can overpower then it's just like that. High attack points, the triple D archetype, the odd dice archetype, as long as you can do a lot of damage with high level with high attack monsters on dot. Or something else that you can come out of that does not allow your allow them to activate any effects at all. Ojama does work, that's what I can say. Since he can't actually summon anything into the main monster zones, that only leaves leaves his extra monster zone which requires him to use a spell or trap. To send something there in the first place but overall yeah have fun dueling dennis when the time comes to unlock him and maybe you can dive more deeper and to understand how his deck works by dueling him on the higher levels so currently he is not available at the gate yet because i have not completed episode one since episode one requires me to win the duel against dennis at level 10 and also collect 60 masks Episode 2 will be getting these much event points after completing episode 1. So by then, before you unlock Dennis, 2 days from now, I guess you can have some fun. Basically, uh, duel, a, duel around, get the event keys, and also duel him at the gate. For the card trader EX, it's also important to note that what cards can be obtained. So performance hat trigger cannot be obtained from the card trader EX. However, for performance flame eater, it is possible. So, yeah, if you are short of one performance flame eater, this is one one way you can get it. 
or if you want to upgrade your performance hat trigger into a higher rarity aside from glossy or prismatic it's all up to you it will not it will not affect the duel but it does make the make the card look pretty pretty nice and at the end duel result you get the bonus 1000 for using a glossy or prismatic card overall but anyways that's about it for the video for for dennis himself so i guess i'll see you tomorrow or the day after when dennis comes out fully unlocked as a playable duelist then we can check out for ourselves on what are his, are his level of rewards as well as the mini boss that's coming soon and see how we can build a performance deck corresponding to the character himself. So until then, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.